Marcus Rashford is in the form of his life right now and I can't explain how happy I am. It was only this time last year that a lot of fans lost faith with him and thought he didn't have a future at the club anymore. But thankfully, Ten Hag, a real manager, sees the potential in him and I think I know why. This is Wild Thoughts Wednesday and I'm going to explain how Marcus Rashford could be the greatest player of all time. Born in Wythenshaw in 1997, Marcus Rashford is mank born and bred. He started playing football at just five years of age and played for the famous Fletcher Moss Rangers, the same local team as many Premier League greats. And two years later, at just seven years old, he was scouted to the Manchester United Academy. The talent was clear. He climbed his way through the ranks at United and in the 2015-16 season, an injury to Martial in the warm-up of the Europa League round of 32 fixture versus Midgetland saw Marcus get his first start for the club, a truly poetic start to the tale. Rashford scored two goals in that game and Man United won 5-1. Three days later, he got his Premier League debut and in that game two goals one assist and then he makes his Manchester derby debut and of course he scores again 1-0 only goal scorer Marcus Rashford that is what you call bursting onto the sea Micah as you can see, the kid was destined for greatness. He went on to win the FA Cup that year. FIFA even made a game mode about him. He was that good. But then things began to change. Louis van Gaal was sacked two days after that FA Cup victory and replaced by former Chelsea manager Jose Mourinho. Two completely different managers, both in playing style and philosophy. Louis was focused on developing young players, whilst Jose was focused on one thing and one thing only, winning. And winning's what he did. Rashford did go on to score in his FA Cup and Champions League debut under Jose and achieve United's biggest trophy to date winning the Europa League in 2017. And you can't forget the EFL Cup and Charity Shield that completed Jose's treble. Rashford gained good experience playing alongside legends like Zlatan Ibrahimovic, but he wasn't the same. He wasn't the same smiley Rashford that we all knew and loved. This was more of an aggressive, erratic player. Rashford lacked consistency in his game and became a bit of a kick and run player who could score the odd screamer. He wasn't seen as the man by Jose to lead the line and replace Zlatan. So Romelu Lukaku was then signed to replace him up front. And just six months later, Jose replaced him on the wing with Alexis Sanchez. Inconsistent performances continue for both Rashford and United, which led to the eventual sacking of Jose Mourinho in December 2018. But what manager could come in next? What manager could come in and reignite the wonder kid that we knew before and set United back on track? It came from an unexpected man, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. The former United legend came in after Jose's departure and United exploded. Winning 5-1 against his former club Cardiff City, Oli's managerial career went off to a flying start. It was the first time United scored five goals since Sir Alex Ferguson's last game in that crazy 5 all draw against West Brom where Lukaku scored a hat-trick. Rashford was the main man and he was providing the goods, giving us all that magical moment in Paris where United were 2-0 down on aggregate, scoring the winning penalty to defeat PSG and Kylian Mbappe to progress to the quarterfinals of the Champions League. Oli was at the wheel, we had our club back, and the Marcus Rashford that we knew before was back. Rashi was developing his game to become a more well-rounded player under Oli, and statistically was one of the best wingers in Europe in the 1920 season, scoring 22 goals, 17 of them in the Premier League. With iconic masterclasses against Manchester to City and Spurs, Rashford helped form the deadly front line that the whole of Europe were afraid of. With fans likening his partnership with Anthony Marshall to York and Cole. Things were looking up, but with Dan James on the right wing, we lacked that ability to break down packed defences. It seems we needed one more play in our front line to complete us. A young Mason Greenwood was coming through at the time, but it was clear he was a striker, and we relied heavily on Rashford for our output on the wings. He had to play through serious back injuries, and his form dropped. This was common for Oli to play his players through pain, with Harry Maguire having to miss a Europa League final through injury, but Rashford played on, but he probably shouldn't have, and it's know what Martial's like with injuries. It seems like we might have needed another striker because it was perhaps too soon for a young Mason Greenwood to lean the line but he started the 21-22 season on fire scoring against Leeds and Wolves and after two years of chasing Oli finally got his right-sided midfielder in Jadon Sancho the front line was complete but then Cristiano Ronaldo was ruined to be going to Manchester City and Oli couldn't let that happen it's reported that Sir Alex and Rio Ferdinand had chats with both Ronaldo and Oli to make sure that he didn't go to the Manchester rivals he was the man to push us from second to first and to give these young players that experience they needed to dominate for years to come however what made this attack so good was lost with the signing of Ronaldo. Oli's philosophy of fast attacking football was lost by the signing of a 36-year-old half-winger 
half striker whose 480,000 a week contract demanded that he started every game. But what did this mean for Rashford? One of his idols getting to play with one of the greatest players of all time in his position. Surely it would be a good thing. It didn't work out. With Ronaldo's tendency to drift to Marcus's left side, it wasn't compatible in the way that Martial did it. When Martial would look to drop in and play Rashford in behind, Ronaldo would prefer to dribble or take a long shot. Rashford quickly became that frustrated figure again that we saw under Jose and was replaced by Sancho on the left wing. But even then, it wasn't working for anyone, except Ronaldo. He was still delivering what he promised, but the entire system, or the rest of the team, were failing. And things didn't get any better under Ralph Ranić either, who promised a front two formation with Rashford up front, but the experiment lasted about two games. Moving from left wing to right wing to striker, Marcus couldn't nail down a position, and it wasn't doing any favours for his development, especially with no clear foundation to play from. But we're in a new era under Ten Hag. No Ronaldo, and Martial is back from his holiday in Spain. He's already got 40 goal contributions in 21 games this season for United. Not to mention his amazing World Cup display, which exposed yet another fraudulent manager. Trust me, it hurts seeing that one. Why does Southgate have to unleash Rashford on us? Oh. But Rashford is back. Scoring 08 09 Ronaldo goals, dribbling half of the pitch to score bangers. There's no stopping him. So why can't he be the goal? Well, in this league, you do have the goal machine, Haaland. The Champions League last year, Vinicius looked good. And at the World Cup, Bappe showed us what he's made of. And Bappe told us he's not going anywhere. And the bar is already so high with Ronaldo and Messi. Ronaldo with his clutch hat-trick against Juve. And Bappe with his goals against Argentina to almost bring his team back into it. Vinicius scoring important goals to win his team a Champions League. And Messi playing good football with good players around him. But none of them... A Sir Marcus Rashford MBE. Who else was able to make a government do a complete U-turn on a decision to let kids go starving? Rashford helped feed millions of kids through a pandemic. My goat. But with Messi winning the World Cup now and Mbappe with that incredible France team, they're probably the favourites for the Ballon d'Or. But my question is, why can't we enjoy both future goats? And why not together at Old Trafford?